So today you're going to see the easiest fountain in the world to set up. But I'm going to have to tell you, I would never believe that this beautiful, cheap, upcycling fountain could cause some chaos over hamburgers. I mean, it was just hamburgers. And now there's such violence in the garden, you'll see. But the birds have been loving it. No matter whether it's in my garden or on the deck, so many different types of birds come to this fountain. And it's just perfect for all of them to come do what they want to do. But violence. I have never seen violence like I've seen now over this fountain. When the Oriole comes in, look at this. I have never seen a bird push poor little house finches off. They don't let anybody near the fountains. They push the house finches off. They chase the hummingbirds away. It only belongs to them. I don't know where they come up with that, what I can do. Here in Southern California, the Orioles come in in March, and then they go down south in the middle of September. They're gone, and then there's peace, though I will have to admit. I miss them. But to see them come in in such a violent way to push and shove other birds around, I'm telling you when I put out a fountain and if they like it, they watch who's coming near it. Look at these poor house finches. All they want is to come over and get a little drink of water. And look at that Oriole there. Probably a young bird, could be a female. But look at this, she's watching. It's her tray. It's perfect for her to step in and take a bath. She doesn't even want anybody to come take a little drink because this belongs to her. And she's gonna let everybody know it. Let's go make this easy fountain. This is gonna be the easiest fountain you're gonna put together for all the birds. Now what we're gonna need here is the solar fountain kit with the long cord. Notice that long cord. Don't buy the round disc, it won't work for this. Not really. Now what we're gonna do is only use some of the attachments that come with it. It's the stem and the bubbler part. That's the only things you're gonna need out of here. Put the rest away because you may change it up one day and do another project. Now see how that goes on there? and see how the bubbler goes on, you can actually set it up just like that, the way we're setting this cute water fountain up. But some of us like to do something a little different, so I'm gonna take a K cup here, and I'm going to make a hole on the bottom. This gives it a little bit of lift, as well as, well, maybe interest. And the birds like the sound, too. Now, I tried to use a little scissors, and the K cups are really hard. So I went back to my handy-dandy soldering iron. Remember, you can get those for a few bucks. They're really cheap. You don't need anything fancy. And you heat it up, and you carefully make the hole just big enough for what you're going to need. And don't put it on when it's super hot. Give it a minute or so to cool down. Now, press it on, and then we're going to snap the bubbler part on on the inside. Now, the thing is, the reason you want that, it will hold it. So if a big bird comes, like an Oriole, they can't knock it down. This is a yogurt cup, and I believe this is going to be great for a lot of you, too. This is thinner. You may be able to cut it, but my soldering iron's hot, so I'm going to go ahead and use the soldering iron. Same thing, going to attach that part that goes onto the pump, and then we're going to put the bubbler on the top just to hold it on again. So... If somebody jumped on it, it's not going to go anywhere because it snaps together. This is just adorable. You could cut it down shorter, but there's no reason to. That's totally up to you. Let's go get this thing set up. You'll see how to do it. Now, this will be the easiest solar fountain you've ever set up. Now, that is a hamburger tray. They usually come with 10 hamburgers, and that's the tray they make. Now, this one, it could be steaks, it could be ground beef, and sometimes you can find them with vegetables as well. These trays are free, and you're supposed to throw them out in the garbage? Oh, the birds will be so upset. It's the perfect size. I mean, you can get a lot of birds in there. You can put some plants in there. This is how easy it is to set up. This is the solar fountain kit that has the panel. The panel has to be facing the sun, and right now I have it facing down. Now I'm taking those two parts I showed you, see? And that goes on the pump. That's it. You could run it just like this and nothing more. But you know how I like to add on a little something, and I'm using a K-cup here. You push on the piece, because the Orioles absolutely love the K-cup. And what this does is it holds it in place, so it can't tip over. It's nice and snug. You push it on, and that big bird can climb on that. It's not going anywhere. There's another thing I'm going to do when I'm done filling it up with water. But you just fill it with tap water, and on a hot day, you can add a nice, a few rocks. You must have some rocks around. You could use marbles and other stones, but it's much easier to clean with three simple rocks. You can just lift them out, rinse it, you know, once every few days or if you need it sooner, 
and then you just take the rocks out wash it put the rocks back and you're done and the solar fountain once you have everything done just turn it up to the sun you can place a couple plants in there i mean isn't that attractive and birds love having plants around their water i mean naturally if you had a pond in the wild there would be all kinds of plants there but i put it in the garden sometimes without the k-cup look at this you have a little house finch come in they just love this perfect height for all the birds and when they see rocks they think of land and then you've got the towhee oh the towhee comes in and splashes the dickens out of that he can stand in it do whatever he wants he can go in and out and they just love it i just love sitting in the garden in the morning having a cup of coffee and watching all these birds come to an upcycle tray a tray that normally ends up in the trash can't beat it. And it's number five. It's food safe. You know what was in it. Food. All you have to do is wash it really good. Is this not too cute? And then look at that. The doves come in. I have seen them take baths. And this one just came in to get a drink. Just so beautiful. And this looks like a little fox sparrow. I'm still not sure he was too wet to tell. But it was some sort of little song sparrow came in early in the morning and took a bath. See how it's burping because the sun is just coming up. But that's good enough. They love this, even if there's no water. And of course, the Orioles. The Orioles know this tray. They see it, and this is like a swimming pool, an Olympic-sized swimming pool. They get in there, and they just splash and do their thing. Look at that. Look how the rock works perfect for them. It's another perch. So they can stand on the rocks. And look at this. He doesn't even want to leave. He starts to leave, and then he comes right back. So rocks are a good thing to add in. Again, it gives them the stability of getting in there. It's not going to move around. And it also lets them know there's land there. So they're not just seeing a tray of water. They actually see rocks, which they recognize. And they know, well, I can land on a rock. So it must be a good place for me. So this has been just too fun. I have them in my garden. I've got them on my deck. This particular one's on the deck. It looks like a spa. Isn't that beautiful? The only problem is are the Orioles. They All day, they're pushing everybody off. This belongs to me. Those poor little house finches, they do sneak in. See, from behind, they come, sneak in, get their water. Unfortunately, they can't take a bath or anything as long as the Orioles are around. But that spa belongs to the Orioles. And after all, they're only here for half a year. And then they take off and go down south, possibly all the way to Mexico where they can find some more fountains probably there and natural ponds. But here, this is just too fun and this is all they want. Is this beautiful? This is just so simple and easy to set up. Put some plants around so the birds will know that this is a natural, pretty place to come to. Plants they know, rocks they know, and of course they know water and they need water, especially in the heat of the summer and the heat of the fall. And they get sticky all day. Orioles are like hummingbirds. They drink a lot of nectar. And once they're gone, the hummingbirds are going to be all over that K-cup. Right now, the hummingbirds say, nah, those Orioles are too big, and they don't want to share, and they'll just find their own place to go take a bath, whether it's a cement ball I make, or the soda bottles, or the turkey baster. But right now, this belongs to the Orioles. They have one more month, and then they will be going down south. And I have never seen as many Orioles as we have this year. I mean, literally, there has been 50 of them around. These are all hoodeds. The bullocks we also have here, they left. They went up north, but they'll be passing through probably in the next few weeks as they head south for the winter. But right now, the hooded Orioles are the ones that are in charge of everything when it comes to water. They select the one they want, and then they fight among each other, and the fountain belongs to them. With that, have a wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye. Oh, boy. And one last thing about the yogurt cup. Will that work like the K-cup? Well, let's see. I'll remove the K-cup here. And it's easier to work if you turn the panel upside down so the water's not shooting everywhere. We'll take the K-cup off. And then we'll replace it with a simple, small yogurt cup. You know, we all buy yogurt sometimes. And now we'll put it back. 
and once it's all snapped together we'll put the rocks back around it it really helps the rocks it keeps the cup nice and stable in case a big bird jumps on it as well kind of put it around there and put it back in the sun there it's now seeing the sunlight and the water's coming out and there it is of course it's going to work it could be a little top heavy but yes, it will work. So if you don't have a K-cup, go ahead and use a yogurt cup or even a small medicine bottle. Washed out well, cool.